Trumpet Lord from the Trumpet Council and Associates here live at Hive MC EU. I'm gonna uh, show you uh, the hiding of seek place, which is pretty cool. Um, when you come to the server, uh, you simply go to uh, slash arcade, which you will end up here. Oh, that's strange. Just now noticed that. What is that? What is that? Cockpit? Busty. Anyway, it's a hide and go seek. Um, basically, what you do is you you pick a uh, lobby like this one. Depending on your luck, you may get in and you may not. Like that one, they get filled up quickly. This is a silent hub, so no one can actually uh, be seen in this. So it's pretty cool. It's to reduce lag and stuff like that. It's so hard to get into a lobby, so I'm probably gonna pause this. I don't get luck on this one. Uh, they have been adding some new uh, servers, by the way, which is cool. Um, I'm going to probably do episodes like this, stuff like that, uh, playing hide and go seek and stuff. Yeah. Anyway. When you finally get inside of the lobby, you'll end up at this little square thing. Always staying up here. And, uh, stuff like that. I'm going to stand here. At the beginning of my games, and then I'm just gonna go around talking to people. So let's get this started, shall we? <clears throat> Hello, Tornado. How you doing? How you doing? Get in your headset there, man. What's up? One go? You and me, bro. You and me. You and me. Follow me. Come on, follow me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's um, very interesting skin you got there, Mr. Daniel. Hmm. <laughs> There's always a link somewhere. Hello. <clears throat> See if I can sneak in this picture. <clears throat> nice. <laughs> no. Okay. Ooh. Ninja Turtle. Alright, so I'm going to walk you through this. Uh, it's pretty basic. Once you're in the lobby, you get... Um, but the, if your fatigue here, it's like 21 and stuff like that. That is basically the time you have left. And stuff like that, I cannot. Right. Alright, fail. That is the time you have left. Um, when you start the game, you'll end up at the map of which the uh, thing has randomly selected. I think it'll be... Hotel, yes. Alright, so this is basic. I'm going to quickly find a hiding spot. I'm Cole. I'll show you how this works in a second. Um, I usually find a good hiding space, like right here. Um, what you do, I'm just going to show you this. It's not, nothing's basic. Basically, um, you get this little block right here in your inventory. Uh, you start off with it. That's the block you will become. And uh, basically, what it is, is. Um, It'll be the block with the number next to it, usually five. And what you need to do is stand still in a spot you want to be in, and it'll count down to zero. And then it'll become enchanted. When it becomes enchanted, that means you are that block. People can actually stand on you now, which is pretty cool. Um, also, another thing is you wear the hat, the block. And so that is a cool thing to do. As you can see, the little lines, that is... Um, me as the block. I'm not really in a good hiding place, but um, I'm in a good blind spot. And what happens is the seekers will come and find you. Uh, usually they won't find you, depending on where you are. Uh, in one game, I actually, uh, there's another cold block who helped me, and uh, who, who uh, basically stood on top of me, and we both blended in, and I think it was a glitch, but I stood in front of the block somehow, and every time the guy hit the blocks, he couldn't hit it because I was standing there. I just... It was weird. Um, anyway, so... Um... The time you have left is always in the fatigue, uh, fatigue area. That's what I call it. Uh, so I have like 225 seconds left. Um, as you can see in the chat, it'll say how many hiders are remaining. Uh, sometimes the seekers can actually be killed by the hiders, which is a cool feature. Um, I'm not going to force myself to show you what it is like to be a seeker, but when you're a seeker, you um, usually are a seeker by default. Oh, crap. And what happens is you're given this sword that you can kill people with. Uh, basically, you can find out if someone's hiding there and stuff like that. 
Uh, it's a very basic game. It's also fun, as you can see in the chat. Uh, people just put some random stuff because they really aren't playing that much because they're um, being blocked stuff. I didn't know this map had two floors. Uh, I was always hiding on the bottom floor. That's because the entrance to this place just sucks for that. Still have 165. So. This usually takes about six minutes, about seven minutes actually. Uh, starting from the lobby, of course. So about six minutes, I'd say. <laughs> this is kind of a formal, formal uh, tutorial. And as you can see, as you die, you become a seeker. See all these seekers, all their name tags and stuff. Eventually, someone's gonna find me. I'm not hiding that well. Like this guy, he might find me. Nope. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> um, out of here. So I have 120 seconds left. One hider remaining. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, this is gonna be intense. Oh gosh, and I'm such an obvious hiding place. Lord, there is no way. Oh my gosh, this is. Oh, phew. they're gonna find me. They're eventually gonna find me. Like this guy. Come on, be smart about it. Come on, there you go. Okay, so that's basically how you do. Uh, all the hiders lost. But anyway, that was. I was about to say. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching this uh, tutorial on how to play hide and go seek. Uh, basically, remember it's hivemc. Dot eu. And that's basically what it is. Um, so thank you for watching and stuff like that. Um, as you can see, I'm so, so adorable. Uh, remember, uh, signs like these, this, um, will become, they will be restarting. Well, that means you need to quickly go over there and start right-clicking. And hopefully, I wish you good luck. On things like that. So anyway, thank you for watching this tutorial on hide and go seek. And remember, you always go to slash arcade for a quick uh, way to get there and stuff like that. So thank you for watching. Bye.